guys! Today I am gonna do this look on my cousin Nova here. And I'm gonna make her into some kind of scary nature creature with uh, sticks and leaves and stuff. So let's go. So first thing I'm gonna do is to apply the wax to make these little bubbles on her face or on her forehead so I can stick the sticks into it. I already prepared one so you can see how I did it, like this. And then I'm gonna continue doing this in her, on her forehead. To soften the edges you can use Carmex or Vaseline just to make the edges a little bit more soft and blended into the skin. Okay, this may take some time, but it's totally worth it. Now I'm gonna use some latex around these little bulbs just to make it stick together better. Okay, you can close your eyes and keep them closed. Once again, I'm using a dish sponge because I forgot to buy makeup sponges, but it works out pretty well. Looks nice, huh? I'm using my Bobbi Brown palette because uh, there is a lot of colors in here that I want to use because I want to make her a little bit infected, a uh, little bit um, look like she's drowned or something. So I'm using foundations that is darker than her skin tone. To create more depth, I'm using darker shades in between the bulbs. And I'm also using a little bit of red just to make it look more infected. And I'm using the Bobbi Brown palette again to make her look more... I don't know if she's gonna be dead or if she's gonna look more tired and sick. I haven't decided yet, but... Make some dark circles under, under the eyes. And this is not supposed to be perfect, so it's nice if it's a little bit uneven, so you can play around with the colors. Make the eyebrows a little bit bushy, that's nice. And I'm using red super color of cream makeup again. And I'm gonna make her lips pale with the Bobbi Brown palette. Because pale lips 
makes makes it look more dead or sick. So now I'm gonna make her whole face look more pale. I'm just using a light foundation or you can use white clown paint, whatever you prefer. Add some white paint in the eyebrows to make it look more scary. I will try to use a... I don't know the exact word in English, but this is a beard sponge in Swedish. I'm gonna use it to make the face look a little bit more dirty, because you can get this little dots with this. Now I'm going to create some blood veins. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to stick in all the sticks. Okay, this actually, this will look really gross. Well. Okay, so she looks like she's gonna be a tree. Now I am gonna do a little bit more um, shadows with the same palette again. Now I'm done with the makeup and let's start with the hair. I'm thinking of doing a wet look with some leaves and more, more of these. So letting the hair down first. So much hair. And I just wanted to like hang. And then I get some water. Then I'm just gonna stick in all of these things in the hair. And now we're done. So guys, this is the final look. I don't know what to call it, but version version. I don't know, but yeah, this is it and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe on Bangalore Beauty and I'll see you next week. Bye!